Hi, thank you for coming to my channel. Today I am going to attempt to show you what I've done to find peace with a combination of traveler's journals and the happy planner, which is right here. I'm going to start off with the traveler's journal and I want to show you the very first one I got. I got this one in January. I got it because Dee Dee Willingham showed it on her channel, I believe on New Year's Day, and I was completely impressed. I will say that uh, maybe a month or two before Sharon from Sharon's Color Coloring Sanctuary or Sharon Sanctuary was always showing her hauls with a different traveler's journal, and I was pretty impressed with them then but it wasn't until I saw Dee Dee's stream that I really decided that I liked it so as I mentioned this is the first one that I bought it came with several inserts a pen but the pen broke the very first time it came with this clip here a paper clip and some bands but what I did is I bought some extra bands in order to add extra inserts. Now I'm only going to show you this for a moment because I'm not using this one currently. Um, this one here has the insert that it came with but I put scrapbook paper on it. Uh, it has a dashboard, a vellum paper, and then these these books, this one, this one, and this one, they were sent to me very kindly by somebody that was watching one of Dee Dee's stream and there to teach me how to letter. And then I have another insert that came with this particular notebook, uh, journal, or traveler's notebook, I'm sorry. And I just, as you see, this figures, numbers, and things like that in there. I have this little cat which serves to hold the pages open. And that's it. That's all I want to show you on that one because, as I said, I'm not using it. Now, before I show you what I am using, I want to show you what I've done. And as you can see, these pretty inserts here, I made all of these inserts. And it was a lot of fun. And this one, obviously, I didn't make. There's no cover on it. So I made all of these inserts. As a matter of fact, I made so many that I just had to stop myself because really it's going to take me a long time to get to them. But they're so easy to make. Um, let me see if I can show you one. See how like this one is lined paper? That's what this one is. Um, let me see if I have another one. Okay. My printer prints graph paper. So what I did with this one is I printed 20 sheets of graph paper or 10 sheets maybe, fold, uh, measured it, cut it down, and then I made this. I made a couple of these. Um, this one here is simply drawing paper that I cut down and I made one with this one. And then uh, I covered some existing journals like my calendar. I covered this one with uh, scrapbook paper. And then this was a lined one that I simply co covered. Okay, so I just wanted to show you those and I'm going to try to put them to the side and I'm gonna show you what I am using. Now first, I wanna show you this, which I may use as a screenshot. As you can see, you can see how thick it is. I believe it has eight inserts in it all together. Um, this here is true planner piece in the form of a traveler's notebook and it is my everything related to my book reviewing, book blogging, channel, even my budgeting, and a loose calendar for me. I want to say where I got this from. I was watching one of Dee Dee's streams, and Dee Dee was showing the lettering inserts and where they're accessible from. And I mentioned that being homebound, it would be impossible for me to buy them with somebody, and her name is AJ. She found them, asked me for my address, and not only did she send me those, and I just showed you those in the Brown Traveler's Notebook, she sent me this as a gift. I fell in love with this. And the reason that I switched over to this versus the brown leather one is, look at that. You see how many things I have in there? I have a pencil, I have a notepad, it has pockets, I've got this clear uh, 
folder, so to speak. I have correction tape in it. I have post-it notes in it. I have the cap that keeps the pages open. I have some tabs and some other uh, post -it, smaller post-it notes. As you see, as I, if I didn't say it already, I've got the pencil there and I've got a pen here. But I want to start from the beginning. And I realize that this is not all on screen and I, I've done the best that I can to place my iPad. So hopefully you'll be able to get the gist of it. As I mentioned, this is relating related to my blog primarily. And when I open it, I've got, I use these stickers to mark when I am done reading a book. I haven't quite decided what to use these pockets for. So when AJ sent me this, these things were in it and I just left them there. This one actually was much bigger. I cut it down to fit in the window. I'll probably put a picture of my grandson or maybe like make a collage of all my grandchildren and put it right there. So before I show you what's in the inserts, you'll see that each insert is covered with scrapbook paper. Um, that took literally no time to do, but I liked decorating everything having to do with my planners. The, these two are decorated as well. This one I didn't decorate and I'll show you that one in a moment. Okay, in the beginning here is a monthly calendar, grossly underused because I've been using my uh, happy planner. And then this is a weekly calendar. And as I mentioned, okay, I'm going to silence the phone, excuse me. I always forget to do something when I want to make a video. All right, so I'm moving on to my weekly calendar. And as I mentioned, I got this right at the beginning of January. So starting on January 1st, which is right there, I write down what book I have read. And then I place one of these stickers next to every title that I complete. And that's my first week of January. And I went forward from there. I tried using graphics here, but I didn't like it. And I just kept going forward. Sometimes I'll make additional notes on the left side of the page. And then as uh, you can see weeks that I've had excellent weeks in reading, excellent weeks. And uh, I did a little planning here. This is before I got the happy planner. Uh, I kept going forward, going forward. And then when we get to Around this week here, I started using these stickers to write down what I post on my blog each day. And on this side, I continue to put the books that I'm reading. Now I'm putting the page numbers and I'm also putting the stickers. And then these numbers right here represent how many books per Friday Reads video I'm doing. So if you if you can see this clearly, this is a 10, but then this is one. So this means that of Whatever Friday reads this fit into, that meant I read 10 books for that week. And then my next week started with this book here. And then this is, I believe, uh, last week. And uh, obviously, uh, it looks like I didn't, I may not have put anything on my blog over the weekend. Although I have scheduled reviews and maybe seven draft reviews, I just didn't get them edited. I continue to add the books that I was reading each week. This week, it looks like I only read nine books. And then we're in this week here, and uh, I had a release here. This was a teaser or a promo post. These are the reviews that I put up on my blog through uh, tomorrow, actually. Um, here, uh, I have a sticker because I've got some drafts, so I will have reviews up uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this week. This represents this week here, and I've read these books here. Again, we started with the number one because when I do the Friday Reads video, it will include whatever starts with the number one. I just finished The Girl in the Painting, and I started Hush Hush, which would be book number five for this week, and then I'll be reading A Justified Murder. I've got the words was handwriting. I just last night started decorating next week's, which Monday is tax day. Um, 
there's a book that will be released, uh, which I have to post and review. So I, I will replace, put a sticker over this. We have the Memorial of Christ's Death on Friday. And this will start my cataloging of the books that I read. Um, on this, in this insert, which you can see is handmade, I started in March to do something called Friday Reads. First, I started using it for notes and videos and stats and things of that nature. Then I decided to try to do Friday Reads. And when I did that, uh, each week, like this particular book, I believe I read 14 books that week. So each book that I read, uh, the number of pages and the dots represented whether or not the blog of the review actually went up on the blog so that when I compile my notes for the videos, I know if I'm going to be using actual reviews or if I'm going to be using a blurb. My February wrap up notes were here and then I, I just continue this pattern each week, that particular week, more wrap up notes. And then we go into March, and I don't know why I skipped this page, but that was the first week of March, and then I continued on. And then we get into April, and this was the first week of April, so just to tell you where I'm at, I have to do a video for these, and I have to do a video for these, and this represents this week. Now, I started something new. Here it says one to four, which is 1,450 pages, I believe. So in a two-day period or three-day period, I read 483 pages per day. I don't know if I'm gonna track it like that, but I, I might. Let's see. Um, as I mentioned, I finished The Grill and the Painting, and these are my next two books. I just used a couple of stickers just to tell me that this is for a video. This just books just for prettiness, and that's all and then um, stamps for the rest of April. I'm, I'm not very good with my stamps, but I'm getting used to that. My next insert is going to be a bullet journal. And I did fill it in for all of the books, and I found a washi tape sticker of books. I did fill in all the books that I read in March, which are right here. And what this is, is for the blog, Goodreads, Instagram, Pinterest, NetGalley, Edelweiss, Barnes and Nobles, uh, Kobo, Amazon, and Facebook. And I wanted to make sure for accountability's sake that I post all of these reviews and these various sources. In a lot of cases, this is accurate. I just didn't fill it in. I will say that I am really defunct with in, uh, Instagram and Pinterest. Oh, I, I see I don't have a, a spot for Twitter, so I do have enough room to add Twitter. So if you see right here, I'm going to put a T for Twitter. So starting in April, these are the books that I've read up through the girl and the painting. And as I've already mentioned a couple of times, these are the next two that I'm going to read. So I've only got one review up and that's on my blog, NetGalley, Amazon, and Barnes and Noble. So now with this new habit tracker, I can take some time and try to plot, uh, pop these reviews up on other sources. And I haven't written any of these reviews yet, not even drafts, so quite naturally that's blank. My next insert, which is in an in odd place, but I don't know why I put it there, but it's my budget, so we're just going to bypass that because you don't need to know that. Then my very next insert, I simply called it my 2019 reading log. I don't use this consistently, but occasionally... I will jot notes down for that I'm for books that I'm reading. As you can see, sometimes I get an idea on how I want to write a review, and if I get inspi inspired, then I will jot notes down. This insert here is my series: J.D. Robb, uh, Leslie Meyer, Paula Quinn, Amy Jarecki, Karen Rainey, Joanna Shoup, Joanne Brown, Brenda Novak, Catherine Coulter, Rachel J. Good, Geneva. Gen Genevieve Cogman, which I haven't started yet. Carolyn Brown, which I've read all of these, but uh, the newest one just came out, so I'll, I I think I just got it yesterday. Faith Martin, I've read all of those. Um, Kath Christy Woodson Harvey, I've read all of those. Katarina Diamond has a big X because I hated that series. Philip Margolin, I've read those. Jennifer Ashley, I've read all of those. You said I should be crossing these out. Rebecca Zanetti, I've read all of those. Kelly Armstrong, again, I have read everything except for Wherever She Goes. 
And then Shannon Stacy, I have read maybe uh, Heart Response, Under Control, and Flare Up. I haven't read Heat Exchange, Controlled Burn, or Fully Ignited for that matter. My friend Fashan, and I believe Shalene also encouraged me to read Joanna Fluke, which is the Hannah Rayburn series. So again, I didn't cross it out, but I did read Chocolate Chip Cookie Murder. And um, I, I, what I do is I just go to, uh, I cut and paste into uh, a word processing app or something on my iPad uh, or in uh, Google Sheets, and then I print it and then I paste it down. Here are the arcs that I've had through February and from Edelweiss for each month. And then here I have my neck alley arcs. Here are my print arcs. They are my first to read. And the thing is, I've gotten, I think, something like 180 books since I printed this up. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to keep this updated in, in an insert. So I'm still working on that. Uh, this right here represents Elizabeth, which is Elizabeth Spooky House of Means. Elizabeth Means, excuse me, let me say this slower. Elizabeth Means Spooky Maze of Books. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. These are all the books that we have in common that we're reading together. These are just some, um, uh, oh, I showed you this already, the, the back of it. And this is my Traveler's Notebook. Now, I absolutely love it. As you can see, it gets used every day, several times a day. However, thanks to, I think, Elizabeth and then Shalene, I found out about the Happy Planner. So, uh, to find true peace in planning, I put this into my life. And this one here, this is a note my therapist gave me. I'm not sure what it says. As soon as you stop making yourself responsible for your happiness. No, wait, let me read this again. As soon as you stop making yourself, everyone else responsible for your happiness, the happier you will be. Just like in my traveler's notebook, I don't really have a use for these other pockets yet. This is an undated planner, and I'm just going to show you the new planner. I'll put that to the side for a moment. This is an undated planner that I'm using through March, April, May, and June, and I'll tell you why in a moment. This came with something, and these are a few stickers. And uh, this was a 2017-2018, so I just found a calendar online, and I printed it, resized it, and pasted it over and then I got some note pages here um, my March calendar here and I started using this only a week or two ago so I started decorating it as of the 18th and this was my first week my first they call them spreads this is my first spread this was my next spread and then uh, it brings us to April, but I stuck in a note page because there were some things I needed to remember. And then these were my April appointments. And I did I'm I i do not know that I'm gonna decorate this spread here or uh, this calendar, but that's what that is. And then I my for the first week in April, which is encompasses these two pages with some things that I had to do that week. So my to-do list. This is the current week that we're in now. And this was beautiful until I tried the hydrate stamp and I just hate the way that it looks. So I probably won't use that stamp, but I need to be, I need to remain hydrated. And I've got some other things I've got to do today actually. So I stuck this notes in here. And this is next week, but I haven't even begun just decorating next week's. I've got a couple of appointments set up for May, so they're in that uh, calendar already. I've got some changes to my calendar in June already, so that's what the zero with the slash is for. And then in the back here is, I'm not really sure, but I've got a dashboard. And in this dashboard, my grandson decided he's going to track our chess games. Um, I've got another dashboard with just, just some sheets for different notes. I have this little, uh, I'm sorry, I took it out of frame, little stamps, and even some, even some more stamps. And then this pad that I had showed you in my traveler's notebook, I just used a uh, circular knife and a metal ruler, and I cut it down 
to fit it in here in another gorgeous pen. And that is my happy planner. So have I found plan? Oh, before I go on, this is my happy planner that begins in July. And as you see, the tab says July, August, and so forth. So I will just move this to this come July 1st. It's gorgeous. Here's some of the covers. Um, look at that one. They just, they're very pretty. So I fell in love with this when I saw a flip through of it. And I'm not going to show you all of them, but th this, like I said, this is my next planner. Um, so as I started to say a moment ago, I have found planner piece with my traveler's notebook and my happy planner. I even, I have so many things. I have 13 sticker books. I've got maybe eight sets of stamps. I've got 15 inks. I've got acrylic blocks. I have washi tape. I have a planner bag. I have a pencil bag. I, of course, I have whiteout tape and two-sided, uh, white, yes, whiteout tape, two-sided tape. Um, I even bought this labeler, which I use mostly in the Traveler's Notebook. Um, uh, I'm thinking, I think that's about it. Oh, I even bought this, uh, this corner rounder so that when I make my inserts, I can round my corners so they're round like, like this. So uh, I think that's about it. So there it is, my planner piece. Okay, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.